I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about VoiceMatters.net. VoiceMatters.net was started in 2008 and I am the founder of it. My name is Andrea Hardaway. I started this website out of love and support for my mom. I continued it because of love and support from everyone that follows our site, from everyone that joins the site, and from every, for everyone that shares the content. A little bit about the story and background. My mom started struggling with her voice back in 1997 when I was in college. It was pretty devastating to be honest. Imagine being two and a half, three hours away and this was before you know you had all the video conferencing and all of that. But being that far away and just having those nights where you just, just wanted to talk to mom and not being able to hear her on the phone. I remember one day I was in my dorm room crying and my mom knew I was having a hard day. My sister probably told her. She knew I was having a hard day and my mom called me and I didn't know it was her, didn't have caller ID. But I stayed on the phone for a while and she whispered her way through that call. She prayed with me, she encouraged me. She was my mom. I think it's always important to pass on your blessings to other people. I have been abundantly blessed in spite of my vocal disorder. So that's when I set off on a mission. I decided to create voicematters.net. The goal was just to find maybe, maybe 30 people in the world who struggle with their voice, connect them, give them a place to talk. I've got to thank, thank Connie Pike. She actually sent out, sent out an email blast to her, to her. She actually sent out an email blast to people and they joined the site. But without any marketing or anything, the next thing I know, we've got about 2,000 members. Where did they come from? It came from a need to connect, regardless of the situation. People who struggle with voice have the same struggles day in and day out. I'm about providing support, providing love, providing encouragement, and sharing information that's going to help recover your voice. Just remember, if you have a vocal disorder, regardless of the situation, you do have a voice and your voice matters. Come visit us at voicematters.net. Thank you. As always guys, I'm not a doctor, but I do care about people and I care about your day-to-day -day experience. But be sure to seek medical advice to get a firm diagnosis or to get a treatment plan that's gonna work for you. Thanks so much for listening.